This week on Granite State Challenge, the team from Nashua South High School <laughs> takes on the team from Plymouth Regional High School. <laughs> Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, DF Richard Energy, HRCU, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready. It's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high-stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us on Granite State Challenge. We are halfway through our quarterfinal round. Two teams have already made their way to the semifinals. We've got two teams here this week hoping to join them. Let's introduce them. First up, we have the team from Nashua South High School. I'm Curtis. I'm a senior. I am Ditya. I'm a senior. I'm Narayan. I'm a senior. I'm Calvin, and I'm a junior. The alternates are Henry and Eric. The coaches are social studies teachers Lex Duvall and English teacher Kelly thornhill Tolerski, And that's the team from Nashua South High School. Facing off against them this week is the team from Plymouth Regional High School. Hi, I'm Reagan. I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Khalil. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Norman. I'm a junior. Their alternates are Ethan and Max, and their coaches are programming, drafting, and engineering teacher Jay Fogarty and world language teacher Troy Harris. And that is the team from Plymouth Regional High School. Those are our teams this week, but we do have one more introduction. Back with us again for another week is our beloved judge, Ann Belanger. All right, everybody, that is introductions. Those are out of the way. Grab those signaling devices. We're going to go ahead and play Granite State Challenge. As you know, we play in four rounds. <coughs> Round one, 10-point toss-up question. So, Nashua South and Plymouth, good luck. Here we go. At one time, there were billions of this species of bird found in the U.S., but the last one, who was named Martha, died at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. Khalil of Plymouth. Passenger pigeon. That's right. This Roman god of transitions, doors, and gates has two faces and a month named after him. Khalil again. Janus. Yes. There is only one named dog in all of Shakespeare's works. He is the pet dog of Lance in Two Gentlemen of Verona and is named for this crustacean that comes in king, blue, hermit, and snow varieties. Khalil of Plymouth. Crab. Yes. What presidential candidate famously said, read my lips, no new taxes? in a speech at the 1988 Republican convention. Khalil of Plymouth. Ronald Reagan. Sorry, no, Nashua South. Sorry, Curtis, not quite in time is George H.W. Bush. Bradley Cooper plays this famous conductor in the 2023 movie Maestro. Calvin of Nashua South. Uh, Leonard Bernstein. Yes. The Hoover Dam is found in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River at the border between Nevada and this state. Khalil of Plymouth. Oh, Arizona. That's right. <laughs> All right, team. The next question is a civics question coming to you on your monitors from Jewel Hurt, a trustee of New Hampshire Civics. Take a look. Edith Windsor was the lead defendant in the 2013 Supreme Court of the United States case, United States versus Windsor. This case overturned Section 3 of this 1996 Act, which banned federal recognition of same-sex marriage. Khalil of Plymouth. Ooh. Loving v. Virginia. No, sorry. Ah. Nashua South? Narayan? Defense of Marriage Act. That is correct. Auguste Rodin sculpted this pensive figure in 1904. There are 27 full-size castings found around the world, but the original is found outside Musée Rodin in Paris. Reagan of Plymouth. The thinker. Yes. All right, teams, you may want pencil and paper for this next question. Teams, what is the next number in this sequence? Two, five, seven, 12, 19, 31. DT of Nashua South. 50. Yes, that is correct. This legendary news anchor known to many as Uncle Walter signed off every newscast with the line, and that's the way it is. Khalil of Plymouth. Cronkite? Yes, Walter Cronkite. This character from Greek mythology is so handsome that he falls in love with his reflection and can't stop looking at it. Calvin of Nashua South. Narcissus. Yes. 
you will find the deepest depths in, in the ocean in this 1,580 mile long crescent shaped area in the Western Pacific Ocean. Khalil of Plymouth. Mariana Trench. Yes. All right, teams, our next question is our Unitil power question. It's worth double points, so 20 <clears throat> point toss up question coming to you on your monitors. The 2010 song Power was recorded by this artist before he married Kim Kardashian. Calvin of Nashua South. Kanye West. Yes. Teams, what position did the American League add in 1973? Curtis of Nashua South. Designated hitter. That's right. This New Hampshire county shares its name with a fictitious cat known for its grin. Reagan of Plymouth. Cheshire. Yes. At close to 2,200 miles long, this Russian river is the longest in Europe. Khalil of Plymouth. The Volga. Yes. This gothic short story by Edgar Allan Poe features Roderick Usher and his mad twin sister Madeline and a home that cracks in two and sinks into a lake. Khalil of Plymouth. Fall of the House of Usher. Yes. All right, teams, go ahead and take a look at your monitor for this next question. You are looking at a self-portrait of this 17th century Dutch artist who produced hundreds of paintings in his lifetime. Khalil of Plymouth. Vermeer. Sorry, no. Nashua South. Narayan. Rembrandt. He's the one. All right, teams, pencil and paper again for this math question. As a mixed number, what is the difference when one and two-fifths is subtracted from six and three-tenths? Calvin of Nashua South. Five and one-tenths. Sorry, no. Nope. Norman of Plymouth. Four and nine-tenths. Sorry, I have three and nine-tenths, but we can check my math later. Teams, in music, what is the interval between one musical pitch and another with double or half its frequency called? Khalil of Plymouth. A perfect fifth. Sorry, no. Nashua South. Curtis. Perfect fourth. <laughs> it's an octave. It's the octave. All right, teams, go ahead and take a look at your monitors once more. There are around 15 species found in this family of monkeys native to the forests in Central and South America. They get their name from their very loud call. Curtis of Nashua South. Howler monkeys. Howler monkey is right. These could be the large multi-decked ships used by Spain in the 16th through 18th centuries or a misspelling of a unit of liquid measurement. DT of Nashua South. Galleon. Yes. The SAT is a standardized test used in college admissions. It was first used in 1926. What does SAT stand for? Narayan of Nashua South. Standardized assessment test. Sorry, no. Plymouth. Khalil. Standard academic test. <laughs> no, both good guesses. It's the scholastic aptitude oh. test. And that sound ends around and hey, hey, look at what we've got. A tie score at the end of round one. Well, we like to see tight games here on Granite State Challenge, but before we jump into round two, we're gonna take a minute, pause, and get to know our players a little bit more, starting with the team from Nashua South. Nashua South is one of two high schools in Nashua. Um, it enrolls nearly 1,800 students, so it's a big school. Um, and in there, amongst them all, is senior captain Curtis. Now, Curtis, you were on Granite State Challenge last year as a junior, and we talked about um, your participation in barbershop. I thought it was a barbershop quartet, but it's not. It's it's a choir. It's a whole barbershop choir. And so how many people are in this choir? I'd say like 30 to 40. 30 to 40, all men? All men. All yeah. men singing. Uh, are you the youngest member of By the far. choir? By far. <laughs> By far. Uh, and and you get to um, you get to, to gig out or, or have like public shows people can go and watch? We have a bunch of shows throughout the year, like Christmas, Memorial Day, we have a Valentine's Day concert coming up. All Valentine's right, so if recording. folks want to do that, uh, who should they be looking for? What's the name of the group? We're called the Nashua Granite Statesmen. The Granite Statesmen. So there you have it. All right, joining the team is Ditya, and uh, Ditya plans to go in a field that I am unfamiliar with. Tell us about it. Um, it's computational biology. So basically, you apply computational or computer science methods and techniques to solve biological problems. Okay, so we've got biological problems in the world. We use computer science type techniques. So can you give like an example? 
So you could use it to discover new drugs, like they recently discovered a new antibiotic class with that, or like new diagnostic methods, things like that. All right. Well, that's great. Just doing the world some service with that. Thank you. Uh, Narayan uh, also does some computer stuff in his spare time. What do you like to do? I like doing computer programming or coding in my free time. All right, are you working on anything right now? Any cool projects you're coding right now? Yeah, my biggest project is a website I've been making called Empower. It's like for substance abuse prevention. Mm. And, and so uh, does it take, I don't know much about coding, but um, when, you, when you're doing coding, are you like wired in? Does it, does it like a really intensive process or is it like, I don't know. Uh, it's, I'm not too intense. Into it. I kind of work over a long period of time. It's not like I'm grinding for eight hours at a time. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's probably a good thing. All right. Rounding out the team is Calvin. And uh, in the first round, in your first round match, we talked about your goal to uh, listen to 500 albums before the end of the school year. And just full disclosure, even though we won't be seeing this episode on the air until, you know, the spring, mm -hmm. right now it's, uh, it's still January in the studio. So how far are you at now? Uh, I'm 60 now. 60, okay. And so last week you were at? Last week I was at 40. 40, so 20 in a week. So you're at a pretty good pace. Any good finds this week? Uh, this week, Amnesiac by Radiohead, which mm -hmm. we both have our hot take. It's better than Kid A. I agree. Yeah. Agreed. So there you go. And uh, 500 by the end of the year. Good mm -hmm. luck. Thank we'll you. be keeping tabs on that. That is the team from Nashua South. All right, Plymouth, we come on over, and we'll start with Reagan out over there at the end, Captain Reagan. And uh, Plymouth uh, Regional High School, by the way, it's, it's in Plymouth, um, services students from all around that area, 650 students or so. And uh, Reagan, amongst those students, you and some teammates have a track meet right after this. Yes, I will be running out the door. Literally running out the door. Uh, and so uh, it's winter now in New Hampshire. So this is winter track, mm -hmm. indoor track, right? Yes. And so uh, where is the meet located? Um, it's at the UNH indoor track. Um, so yeah, 160 meters should be pretty fun. Okay, yeah, that's right down the road from where we are right now. And we'll try to get you out of here on time to meet the starting line of that race. All right, with Reagan is Khalil. And Khalil, you just finished uh, a, a book for the third time called The Phenomenology of Spirit. Explain to us what that is. Well, um, it's the culminating work of uh, George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. And he's a, he's a German idealist philosopher from the 19th century. And he basically is taking all of his former uh, philosophers and compounding them into one big analog and uh, applying a dialectic method to determine what the future and what the past will and was like. All right, so when graduation happens, you head off uh, to the next big thing in, in college. You think in philosophy? I am thinking philosophy. So yes. there you go. You'll, you'll be ahead of the curve on that, I think. Um, all right, speaking of ahead of the curve, this is kind of neat. This is a little bit behind the curve, actually. I kind of like this. So Paul likes to build with Lego, which is great. Everyone loves Lego. But you're doing something really cool, it says on here. What did you just build? Uh, I just built a tape deck. So this is for a tape deck for cassette tapes? Uh, yes. OK, so where did this idea come from? Well, I, I had several cassette tapes. And uh, I thought it would be fun if I could, uh, because I don't have a uh, cassette player yet, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to find one. But I thought it would be something fun to do in the meantime. With them. And so you just gathered some random Lego and started putting it together, and voila. Yep. All right, so what's next? Uh, I think I might improve upon my Walkman. Very, <laughs> there you go. Excellent. All right, rounding out the team is Norman, uh, who's watched one of my favorite movies over 50 times. Which is it? The Princess Bride. I mean, it's such a great movie, right? Such a love, lovely movie. What is it about The Princess Bride 50 times? I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's a family movie okay. for us. We've, we watch it uh, regularly. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually, it was playing when I was born. So okay. you know, I think that counts as at least a portion of a watch. So you've literally been watching it your whole life. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I can think of no better movie to watch for one's entire life than The Princess Bride. That is the team from Plymouth Regional High School. <laughs> All right, teams, we're going to roll into round two of Granite State Challenge. Round two is our three strikes and your out round. And in this round, each team gets 10 questions. Um, and we go player by player. Each player gets a question of their own. You can pass. Each team has three passes. And we keep going until 10 questions are asked or until three incorrect responses or strikes, and you are out. So we do this alphabetically. So Curtis, on Nashua South, we're going to start with you, and this is your question. 
In this series set in Hawkins, Indiana, a group of friends encounter really weird and bizarre occurrences. Stranger things. Yes. Ditya, the song Strange Fruit, recorded by Billie Holiday in 1939, was about this extrajudicial action taken largely against black men. Pass. Uh, pass. Yep. Lynching? It is lynching, yes. Curtis. Germany invaded this country in 1939. Poland. Yes. Dietje. In 1939, this movie featuring Southern Belle Scarlett O'Hara won the Oscar for Best Picture. Gone with the Wind. Yes. Narayan. The 1977 song Dust in the Wind was a hit for this band named for a state that got its start in the city of Topeka. Pass. All right. Uh, Kansas. Kansas is right. Curtis, back to you. This singer was frequently seen at Kansas City Chiefs football games during the 2023-24 season. Taylor Swift. Yes. Ditya. Singer James Taylor is known for soft rock songs like Fire and Rain, You Got a Friend, and a song about the North One of This State being in his mind. Um... Massachusetts. It is North Carolina. <laughs> Narayan, this famous Chicago Bulls basketball player who wore the number 23, played college basketball for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Michael Jordan. Correct. Calvin, in a 1964 song, the girl group The Dixie Cups sang about going to the chapel to do this. Pray? <laughs> to get married. Oh, okay. And Curtis. This British all-girl group featured Baby, Ginger, Posh, Scary, and Sporty. Spice Girls. Spice Girls is correct. That's 10 questions, so 8 out of 10 on your three strikes rounds. Very well done, Nashua South. We're going to turn our attention over to Plymouth. Same drill. Reagan, we'll start with you. This is your question. A 1931 book by Irma S. Rombauer was all about the joy of doing this. Swimming. Is cooking. Khalil, British Captain James Cook, is famous for his voyages to what is now this country that is also a continent. Australia? Yes. Paul, Australia is a home to many unique animals, including this marsupial that is not really a bear. Koala? Yes. Norman, the bear, is a comedy drama series set in this high pressure workplace. Uh, kitchen? Yes, we'll give you that. Reagan. The 1981 song Under Pressure was a collaboration between the band Queen and this British singer known for songs like Ziggy Stardust and Heroes. David Bowie. Yes. Khalil. This guitarist for the band Queen is also an astrophysicist. Pass. Brian May. Brian May is right. Norman. Louisa May Alcott wrote this novel about sisters Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy that was partially set during the Civil War. Yes. Little Women. That is correct. Khalil. The Civil War began in 1861 when Confederate troops fired upon this U.S. fort. Fort Sumter? Yes. Paul. You will find Fort Stark State Park in this New Hampshire town that is also an island. Newcastle? Yes. And Norman, last question. Billionaire industrialist Tony Stark is also this superhero. Iron Man. That is right. Is that nine out of 10 on your three strikes round? Wow. Excellent work teams in round two. It's now time for round three, our 60 second round alternates. I'd like to invite you to come on up and join your teams at the podiums. In our 60 second round, each team gets 10 questions in a category and uh, you can work together and talk together as a team. We take the captain's answer as the team answer. Um, and so Nashua South trailing only by 10 points, you get to pick first from our three categories. They are, oh, the places you'll go, shake it up, and Swifties. Don't do Swifties, that's too obvious. Places gonna be geography. 
Oh, the places you'll go. Oh, the places you'll go. All right. So in this category, the answers to the following will all be places that begin with the letter O. Again, Curtis, I'll take your answer as the team answer. 60 seconds, start the clock. The Nobel Prize is given out in this Scandinavian city. Oslo. Yes, a famous 2,000 mile trail led to this state. Oregon. Oregon. Yes, you will find the capital city of Ottawa in this Canadian Ontario. province. Ontario. Yes, this state has a non rectangular flag. Ohio. Ohio. Ohio is right. The NHL team, the Senators, are based in this city. Ottawa. Ottawa. Yes. This city is home to Disneyland. Orlando. Orlando. Yes, this New Hampshire town is the county seat of Carroll County. Pass. It is Ossipee. This Ukrainian port city is located. Odessa. Yes. Businessman and investor Warren Buffett makes his home in this city in Nebraska. O Omaha. Omaha. Yes. yes. This English city is home to the University Oxford. where Rhodes. Oxford. Oxford is correct. Is that nine out of ten on your 60 second round? Nice work, Nashua South Plymouth. We turn it over to you, Reagan. You've talked to your team. You can choose from Shake It Up and Swifties. Swifties. Swifties it is. All right, the answers to the following will all be related to things that are fast. Ooh. All right, so Reagan, I'll take your answer as the team answer. 60 seconds, start the clock. This is the fastest land mammal. It can reach speeds of, yes. On April 12th, 1934, a wind speed of 231 miles an hour oh, no, was recorded here. Mount Washington. Okay, this superhero is faster than a speeding bullet. Flash. The Flash. Sorry, it's Superman. This oh. travels at 186,000 miles per second. The speed of speed light. Of light? Yes. Usain Bolt and Florence Griffith Joyner hold the men's and women's record for this race. 100 meter dash. Yes. Tom Cruise played a fighter pilot who felt the need for uh -oh. speed in this Top 1986. Gun. Oh, uh, Top Gun. Race. Yes. Mr. McFeely promised speedy mail delivery in this children's show hosted by Fred Rogers. Oh, oh uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Rogers, Rogers Neighborhood. Yes, this the first film in this movie franchise was released in 2001 and starred Vin Diesel. Oh, Fast and Furious. Yes, this movie featured Keanu Reeves as a cop and Sandra Bullock as a bus driver. Oh, uh, Speed. Drive. Yes. Drive. Oh, right. This superhero is also known as the Scarlet Speedster. Uh, the, flash. the Flash. The Flash. There you go. Correct. Another nine out of ten on your 60 second rounds. Wow, excellent, excellent rounds, teams. Alternates, thank you so much. You can go ahead and take your seats as we get ready for round four in a tight, tight game. So in round four, we're gonna pick back up with our toss up questions, but we're going to be doubling the point value to 20 points, but we will be deducting 20 points for incorrect responses. So play smart and strategic, Nashua South Plymouth Regional. Here we go. In 1812, John Langdon, the third governor of New Hampshire, turned down a nomination to serve as vice president to this future president. Didn't want to take a chance on James Madison. Teams, how many pairs of ribs are there in the average human body? 24 ribs makes 12 pairs. Teams, in what popular game will you find five modes? Survival, creative, hardcore, spectator, and adventure. Curtis of Nashville South. Minecraft. Yes. In 1949, this man became the leader of the People's Republic of China. Calvin of Nashville South. Mao Zedong. Yes. Military uniforms used camouflage to help soldiers blend into their surroundings. Spell camouflage. Khalil of Plymouth. C-A-M-O-U-F-L-A-G-E. Yes. In a 1959 song by Martha and the Vandellas, people were doing this in the streets of Chicago, New Orleans, and the Motor City. They were dancing in the streets. Oh. The title for this 1961 satirical novel by Joseph Heller is a term that refers to a no-win situation. Norman of Plymouth. Catch-22. Yes. The English auth this English author created the characters Mowgli, Shere Khan the Tiger, and Baloo the Bear in his Jungle Book collection of stories. Khalil of Plymouth. Kipling. Yes. This basketball player, considered by many to be the best player of all time, wore number 23 and also tried his hand at professional baseball, where he wasn't so great. Curtis of Nashua South. Michael Jordan. Yes. This wind instrument, which is made out of wood from the eucalyptus tree, originated in Australia. Khalil of Plymouth. Didgeridoo. Yes. There are over 2,500 species of this eight-legged arachnid with a stinging tail and pinchers found around the world. There was also one found in a constellation in the sky. Khalil of Plymouth. Scorpion. Yes. Teams, in what Arthur Miller play will you find the traveling salesman character Willie Loman and his sons Biff and Happy? Khalil again. Death of a salesman. Yes. 
What longitudinal line in Greenwich, England is zero degrees? Curtis of Nashville South. Prime Meridian. Yes. In this picture book by Chris Van Allsburg, a young boy travels on a train to the North Pole. Reagan of Plymouth. The Polar Express. Yes. Former Miami Heat basketball star Dwayne Wade is married to actor Gabrielle Union, who starred as a head cheerleader for the East Compton Clovers in this movie released in 2000. Calvin of Nashville South. Get it on. Sorry, no. <laughs> Plymouth. It is bring it on. In this story by Hans Christian Andersen, what is believed to be a young duck is transformed and squeaking it out in round four, Plymouth will be moving on to the semifinals. Excellent game, both teams. Plymouth, congratulations on your win. Nashua South, tough loss in a great game. I know I had a lot of fun watching it, and I'm sure the folks at home had fun watching this week's match. We do hope you tune in next week when the team from Hopkinton will take on the team from Laconia High School. That will do it for us this week on Granite State Challenge. As I'd like to say, I learned something new every, every episode of Granite State Challenge, and I hope you do as well. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, and viewers like you. Thank you. Studio support for Granite State Challenge is provided by Prue Oil and Propane.